Hello friends, this is Sundarishan, your Compliance Guru. Functions of an independent director. What are the, what are the functions that are required to be rendered by independent directors? There are many, but what I will do is summarize some of these for you for easy understanding and I will only pick up some of the important ones. The first being an independent director helps in bringing an independent judgment on the board's deliberations. What does this mean? Simple. Bring an independent judgment. This deals with the participation in the board meetings. So it is important that whenever an item has been proposed for consideration in a board agenda, the final say would of course be the decision of the majority of the directors, but the independent director has to express their consent or dissent on that particular matter. The second is of course, an independent director has to bring an objective view in the evaluation of the performance of the board and management. Now this is played better when the independent director is part of a nomination and remuneration committee. Because any issue relating to performance of board and management is best addressed by the NRC and then it comes to the attention of the board. The next is to scrutinize the performance of management in meeting their goals and objectives. Now this again is the responsibility of the audit committee to some extent and the NRC or the nomination and remuneration committee which is to ensure that there is a annual appraisal program for the management in discharging their responsibilities. The next, of course, is a very interesting one, which is to satisfy themselves on the integrity of the financial statements. Most important. And any financial statement first goes to an audit committee. The audit committee peruses the document, approves the document, and then brings it to the attention of the board members. So integrity of the financial statements. This is what is most important to uh, note out here, which is to ensure that what has been placed before them is true and fair. The next is to safeguard the interest of the stakeholders. particularly the minority shareholders. And this function is best addressed in the stakeholder relationship committee. But of course, the stakeholder relationship committee deals with various other issues other than matters relating to protection of minority shareholders. And in the recent past, we have had amazing case studies on 
how minority shareholders were not protected by the institution of independent directors next is balance the conflicting interest of the stakeholders now this is another good function which is as a mediator an independent director can sit and resolve conflicts of two shareholders which is also a recent case of an airline company where the chair person who was a independent director had to become a mediator and settle the dispute between two shareholders next of course determine appropriate levels of remuneration for a key managerial person this issue is mostly addressed by the nrc committee or the nomination and remuneration committee and after fixing the remuneration or deciding the remuneration which is based on lot of uh, industry standards this proposal is brought to the attention of the board members for their approval the functions that we saw involved independent directors now one question that must be running in your mind is if independent directors are the persons who constitute these committees then why are we duplicating all of these discussions again in the board room friends the board room has different types of directors sitting there the executive director non executive director and independent director if the company is small if the board size is small then the same set of independent directors are rotated for all the committees but if the board size is large and if there are more number of independent directors then the composition of the committee of committee members differs and that is why the issues are brought to the attention of the larger forum which is the board of directors well we will next see what committees are and different different committees and their roles of these committees till then keep writing keep questioning stay compliant stay safe see you soon